How do you want to explain something that cannot be explained? My name is Mark Gerson. I practice Tai Chi every day. I'm living for it. <laughs> That's my life. I mean, I have a lot of different things that I can do, but this practice uh, made me become aware of what I really wanted in a daily sense. Uh, it keeps me moving, keeps me in action, and it gives me uh, a real feeling of what is going around in myself and around myself. Tai Chi means the highest that you can reach. It's an internal martial art, very sophisticated, which is completely different from outside martial arts like karate, jiu-jitsu. The purpose of it is um, that you can really manage your energy, your life and become your energy and life manager. There are many different types of Tai Chi around the world. The most known are Yang style, which is a very classical style, traditional style, characterized by slow movements that keep the same speed. My favorite is Chen style because it's quite demanding. It's more martial. You see explosive motions and very slow motions combined, mixed explosion and then slowly. And it's most difficult because it's very physical, very demanding. You have to get very deep stances and in the beginning it's very difficult for people who are not used to. Being regular is quite the key of this practice and um, for a lot of people it's difficult to stick with it every day. For me it was no problem. It was really like falling in love with something very you know, special. But it's kind of a meditative state when, when you practice. So the mind is settled down, the breath is deep, the alertness is high. It can be called meditation in movement. Some people say that Tai Chi is it's like dance. The thing is like an energy dance. In the classical dance it's more the gratitude of the moment related to the music. In Tai Chi the music is nature. So the birds and water and, and you know the, the natural sounds, usually it's good to practice it outside. I have to admit that most of the time I do it inside because of the weather conditions. The only thing is the energy is not so, far, not so clear. There's one thing, if you go into nature, the energy is always fine. In nature, your energy field goes much wider. My conviction, let's say about 20 years ago, was everybody should do Tai Chi because it gave me so much. And today, my opinion is a bit refined. Everybody who likes to do Tai Chi should really go for it. It's a good thing to try it out because books will not tell you what it is.